Greetings, brothers and sisters. Welcome back as we continue our reading of the New Converts and New Members Manual of the Church of God in Jamaica, prepared by the Christian Education Department of the Church of God in Jamaica. We now continue with Lesson 2. Lesson 2 is Per. Per is a Christian lifeline to God. It keeps the channels of communication open and provides a means of strength and guidance. It helps carry a person past temptation, across periods of depression and discouragement, and through the crossroads of decision. Prayer is indeed communion with God, a two-way channel of communication. Not only do we communicate to God in prayer through words, thoughts, and unuttered yearnings and desires, but we also hear from Him. Not only do we express our needs, but we give vent to our hurts and anger and to our joy and praise. It would be impossible to overstress the importance of prayer in the life of a Christian. 1. Prayer is expected of us. A. Seek the Lord and His strength. Seek His presence continually. First, First Chronicles 16, 11. B. Watch and pray that you may not enter into temptation. Matthew 26, 41. C. Ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and it will be opened to you. Matthew 7, 7. D. And he told them a parable to the effect that they saw that they ought always to pray and not to lose heart. Luke 18, 1. And E. Pray constantly or pray without ceasing. 1 Thessalonians 5, verse 17. Secondly, prayer will not go unheard. A. Prayer was heard in the upper room. And when they had prayed, the place in which they were gathered together was shaken and they were filled with the Holy Spirit and spoke the word of God with boldness. Acts 4.31 B. God promised his care. When he calls me, I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will rescue him and honor him. Psalms 91.15 C. Jesus promised answers. Therefore, I tell you, whatever you ask in prayer, believe that you will receive it, and you will. Mark eleven twenty four, Part 3 Jesus set an example for us in the practice of prayer. A. Jesus went privately to pray at morning and night. Mark 1, 35. Mark 6, 46-47. B. Jesus prayed in the face of trial and trouble as at Gethsemane, Luke 22, 41-42. C. Jesus offered intercessory prayer for the church, John 17. Jesus prayed with his disciples, Matthew 6, 9. Jesus prayed for forgiveness for those who persecuted him, Luke 23, 34. Part 4. Jesus provided us with a model prayer. Matthew 6, 9-13. Our Father who art in heaven. We address God, the F God the Father, in prayer directly. We do not have to go through some intermediary, even Jesus himself although it is appropriate to come to God in the name of his Son, Jesus, who is indeed our intermediary with the Father God. The God we address is our God. 
This is a corporate prayer, voiced not simply in a personal way, but on behalf of the group. He is not merely our private God. The God we address is high and lifted up. He is the God who dwells in heaven. It is good for us to exalt and lift up God in our prayers, even though he is also nearer than breathing, closer than our own heartbeat. Next, hallowed be thy name. We ought to hallow and emphasize the sacredness of, of the God whom we address. By implication, we are to honor and glorify God through this prayer we offer and through the lives we live. See, thy will be done. We do not come demanding our own way, but to put ourselves in tune with God's way. We trust the Lord that his good way will be the best way for us. We see God making a difference, not just in heaven where he is based, but also on earth. D. Give us this day our daily bread. The common daily concerns of life are adequate for our daily power. We show our trust of God for such daily necessities as food. We are not meant to be independent of God for the daily routines of life, even when we grow our own food or earn it through our labor. E. Forgive us our debts as we also forgive our debtors. Seeking forgiveness is a normal part of prayer, and God hears us no matter how frequent our errors. We acknowledge that we have already and will continue to be forgiving, to be forgiven of others. We do not ask God to express to us what we are unwilling to express to others. If, lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Evil is a reality in our world and in relation to our lives. God through prayer brings us strength guidance, and deliverance. G. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. This ending, which appears in some ancient manuscripts, returns us to an act of glorification and praise for the greatness and the eternal quality of the Lord. Commitment is implied in this phrase. We acknowledge that all belongs to God, and we, by implication, give ourselves to the building up of the kingdom, the upholding of God's power, and the offering to him of glory. This brings us to the end of Lesson 2.